And what we've decided to do here today is you may remember back in the panda back back in the heart of the pandemic mm -hmm. when Andy. we were doing the uh, happy uh, we were doing happy hour trivia. Mm -hmm. We got to bring that back at least we a little to bring bit more. That back. I wasn't I, I wasn't a, a part of that, so I really want to. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a lot of fun. Season. We do need to bring back happy hour trivia. We were doing it on Zoom and we we're doing it with uh, what was it called? Kahoot. Kahoot. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Had a good time. We may need to bring back that back. But but yeah, what struck me it. is that we were always asking a lot of our viewers. Yeah. But we were very rarely asking a lot of our staff. And so I've brought you all here to mm. participate in the inaugural. My heart's pumping. Texas Football Today <laughs> Trivia <laughs> Challenge. Okay. Okay? okay. I've got 12 questions here. 12 questions. Some are football. Some are not. Okay. Oh, boy. You never know what these questions are going to be. You really don't. And so here's how it's going to work. We're going to go through. I'm going to ask you these questions. To buzz in, you're going to say your name. Now, I want to be very clear. Some of you are going to want to scream your name. <laughs> <laughs> Who? I want you to remember that you have a microphone, and the microphone will amplify it. Okay? So you just need to say your Should name. Should I turn the mics down now? No, or? <laughs> say your yeah, name. because I get competitive. Say your name. <laughs> yeah. You only get one guess at it. So okay. if you if you if you guess it goes wrong to the next person, then then uh, the uh, the other two can buzz in, and okay. then the other one can if if both of them get wrong, the third person can try to get a guess. I really can, just get wanna, like, right. <laughs> yeah. The, whoever <laughs> has whoever an, whoever has the the most points at the end of the the game will be the winner. We do have a tiebreaker if ne is necessary. Okay. Okay. I'm do you have any questions? No. no. You're supposed to be the one with questions. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Negative one point for uh, Yes, oh, let's no, go. No, 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 let's no, go. No, no, no. Okay. P PTI rules. Yes. No. <laughs> All right. The inaugural <laughs> Texas Football Today Trivia Challenge starts now. Question number one. A pool ball set includes how many balls? Mallory. Nine. No. Wait. Oh, is it? Oh, I can't talk anymore. Pickle. Yes. Fourteen. No. Ish. Oh, because you got to double it. Oh. I don't remember. Uh, 15? I don't know. No, the answer is 16. Because ah. the cue ball. The cue ball. Yeah, the cue ball. <laughs> See, that's I counted the cue. I just counted I eight, and then I didn't count the other set of it. Yeah, Yeah, there's yeah. a bunch more. There's a okay. lot. Uh, 16. Yeah. Okay, so great start, everybody. I thought she got it right <laughs> except for the cue ball. Oh, presently, yeah. it is now zero to zero yeah. to zero. Okay. All right. Well, great all start. Right. We're doing great, guys. Okay. See, this is why I want to bring you guys on here because, again, I think it's really cool when our when our viewers are able to get a lot of the answers on uh, on our happy hour trivia. Sure. And for and us, then now you're just exposing. Now us. I'm just now exposing. You're, yeah. Us. Okay. <clears throat> Question number two. Name two of the four children that belong to Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Ishmael. Yes. Saint and North. Correct. <sighs> Ishmael I was Johnson to think of gets North. it. Dang it. The four children for Kim Kardashian is one of them and blue? Kanye West. No. Shy is the other blue one. Blue is Jay Z and Beyonce. Uh, uh, Shy is anyway. the other one, and I don't. Yeah, uh, Chicago. Yeah. And Psalm. Psalm. That's the right. Jesus. North. The youngest Saint. One, Chicago and Psalm. Who's Kylie's kid? Uh, that's Storm. Stormy. Stormy. Yeah. yeah all okay. Right. So. Cool. Right now, Mallory zero, Ishmael one, Pickle zero. At least it's zero and not negative one. Question, num <laughs> question number three. Who is the reigning 3A Division One state champion? I can't think that fast. Oh, Pickle. Yes. Lorena. Lorena. Ah. Correct. The Lorena Woo! Leopard. That was good. Are the was, reigning was, 3A think that Division fast. One state champion. That's very good, Pickle. Thank you. Um, I've, I've, it's one of the things you got to cycle through all of them. Mm -hmm. yep. it takes a little bit yeah, of time. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, Pickle one. Ish one, Mallory zero. I'm, I need to write this down because I'm going to lose track. Hold on. I can write this uh, down. Yeah. <laughs> I am producer. I can, yeah, I can write down. I, I need a one, zero, one. Okay. We're on to question four here yeah. of our 12 questions here on the inaugural Texas. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to get any trivia right. <laughs> <laughs> Or quick enough. <laughs> question number four. What U.S. state consumes the most alcohol per person? What U.S. state consumes the most alcohol per person? Per person. It's got to be a state Ishmael. that... Yes. Louisiana? No. It's got to be a state that has nothing in it. There's nothing else to do. 
Hickle. Yes. Wisconsin. No. Mallory, you you have you have a chance. See, I'm I'm torn. You have a I don't know if I. <laughs> I want a 48 chance. I'm torn between a bigger state or a state that doesn't have much in it, like what Iowa or a U.S. state consumes the most alcohol per, per person. person. Do you think you know it? I think I'm gonna go. I another guess. I think I'm gonna go with California. No. Dang. Is it Wyoming? Shoot. It's not. What is Y'all it? are all thinking about this wrong. Uh oh. What U.S. state consumes the most alcohol per person? Where is the most alcohol consumed? What city do you think consumes the most alcohol? Yeah, New Nevada. York or something? Nevada. Yeah. Nevada is the answer. Oh. And with population oh. not being That's why I guess Louisiana, because I was like, New Orleans, you could probably, you know, there's some okay. college city, towns Correct. in there. Yeah. See, I was thinking big state with not a mm-hmm. lot to do and a smaller that's, amount of See, people. that's what I was thinking yeah. kind of yeah. too. Like, and then like, I just Wyoming, went with big Wisconsin, state. Mm-hmm. something up mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Right. Nevada makes mm-hmm. sense. No, yep. but what you do is you take the amount of alcohol consumed, you divide by the number of people. Jam it into one city. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's all going yes. Well, two, Reno. You that's know true. It's a good question. So there you go. We remain at ish one, Mallory zero, pickle one here. Or um, neck and we're neck. Four questions in. We're into question five. <laughs> question five. What athlete is the most followed person on Instagram? Ishmael. Yes. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo oh. has 425 million followers. I believe second is Kylie Jenner. Is the I thought it was Katy Perry. But I thought you said athlete. Well, I said, no, I, 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 yeah, oh. I'm sorry. I, I was using athlete to... The second athlete is Lionel Messi, if you're interested. I thought Katy Perry oh. had, like, the most forever. Let's, let's see. Instagram followers. It wouldn't surprise me if a Kardashian... I bet LeBron has a lot, too. Um, the most followed LeBron's Instagram accounts... LeBron's not as international. Uh, Insta- oh, at Instagram is number one, but that's fine. So, the top five are Cristiano Ronaldo, mm. Kylie Jenner, Lionel Messi, Selena Gomez, mm. and uh-huh. The Rock. People the love Rock? soccer, man. Really? That's mm. Followed surprising. Followed by Ariana Grande, Kim Kardashian, Bay Once... Uh, Chloe Kardashian and Kendall Jenner. I can say that I don't follow any of them on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, me neither. Uh, Bieber is 12. National Geographic is the top brand. Oh, Besides nice. Instagram. It's 13th <laughs> overall. Sure. Besides Instagram, of course. Well, but they own, you know, they own uh, that doesn't feel like. They can make you follow yeah, them exactly. if they want. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the answer. It's like when U2 made you download, or Apple Music made the, the U2, U2 album the U2 come album. on. Like, that's that same. <laughs> or, like, or like for the MySpace OGs, when uh, Tom, Tom was Tom everyone's was friend. friend. Yeah. Yep. Tom, Tom was, was the founder of MySpace. Oh. Yes. And, and so, <laughs> like, funny. no matter what, like, you had your you top. You had the most. It was like your top eight. You can make, like, top three or top eight or whatever and then but tom, tom always had to be one, one of them, of them. <laughs> like no matter what he was everyone's top friend which felt very like imagine if zuckerberg did that yeah like, imagine if zuckerberg is he just would like be more... you gotta be friends with all with me all of you yeah. have to be friends oh, with me but that also feels like something he would do all right yeah. so that's question five it's ish two mallory zero pickle one on the inaugural texas football that i trivia champ it's good hey let's go let's rally okay back half this. Okay. Let's go. they had all us right. in the first half i'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> they still have us <laughs> number six who is the only person to appear on the Dave Campbell's Texas football cover three times. Pickle. Yes. Todd Dodge? No. Oh, I don't know. He was twice. Ishmael. Yes. Cliff Kingsbury? Cliff Kingsbury. Oh. Cliff Kingsbury yeah. uh, like appeared in 2001, 2002, and 2016. On the cover of the, that and that one. doesn't include. I believe he was on an inset of another one too. Right. So that I'm just talking cover boy type thing. So there you go. Cliff Kingsbury, the only person to appear on the DCTF cover three times. Ish starting to pull away, guys. I well, ladies, not having fun. Ladies, need this. I'm having a great time. time. <laughs> yeah, Shush, I'm gonna turn uh, your mic off. Is that, you can't yeah, answer it's anymore. Let's, let's, I you wonder know, who's in the producer. It looks like it's, he's saying something, but I don't know. I, I can't, can't hear him or anything. I gotta be honest. This is this is kind of crazy that the guy with the number with the number one seed in, in the West. Is, oh uh, is Lord right. God! Okay, turn both their mics off. Mel, we're no, we're walking. We're gonna do. I'm not happy about it. I was crediting. You know, I was complimenting her on her on her on her Mavs jersey. Yeah. You're saying he's used to winning. Then why you got to compliment rally him? Rally in the valley. Rally in the valley. Jeez. That's right. I get no compliments. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got gosh, negative compliments. <laughs> I think you're neat. All right, that's six questions down. Yeah. We're halfway through. Question number seven. Who was the second president of the United States? Pickle. I heard pickle first. John Adams. John Adams. That was yep. Correct. You're right. Good job. John Adams was the second president of the United Man, States. I don't really know. Uh, there you go. Look who's tied. No. I'm at zero. Oh, you're at three. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah. 
Shoot. Look who's tied. I don't know who. (laughs) (laughs) Tell me. After Uh, after this one, I'm calling my shot. uh, So there you go. Uh, We are now at ish three, pickle two, Mallory zero. But I I gotta get one, at least one. I feel like this next one's got Mallory written all over it. Oh, I don't think so. Question number eight on the inaugural Texas Football Today Trivia Challenge. On the office. (laughs) What is Jim and Pam's daughter's name? Mallory. Yes. Cece. Cecilia. Cecilia, that is Woo, correct. Cecilia. <laughs> Cecilia. There you go. Cecilia Marie Halpert. Don't test me with the office. <laughs> I know. I, well, I knew. I knew. Uh, <laughs> you got to throw a Mallory question in there sometime there or she's not going to do well. All right. So there you go. It's now ish three, pickle two, Mallory one. We are eight questions in, four to go. The final four questions here. In the These are, these are important. Football today. Trivia challenge. You guys, you're nervous? I'm nervous. Nerves? No. Okay. What are nerves? Number nine. Who is currently the longest tenured head coach at a Texas FBS school? The longest tenured head coach at an FBS, Texas FBS school. Um, Who is currently the tallest? Yes. Seth Luttrell? Seth Luttrell is the answer. Oh. 2016. Mm-hmm. He's been there since North Texas. Oh. How, we, how did we no, know I have, one I have, person I have, I have who doesn't yeah, go yeah, to North question. Texas question. get Mallory, it? Mallory, where'd you go to college? North Texas. Pick a I don't know if I've ever heard this. Do you know? Where'd you go to, to, to school? Rice. <laughs> <laughs> UTSA. Nobody here got into rice, let's be honest. Honestly, 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 no. Nobody here got into rice. There's no rice energy Uh, here. Ish, did you go to North Texas? I did not. But do you host a wonderful college football podcast? I do. There we go. (laughs) It's the Republic of Football. You should subscribe on the podcast vendor of your choice. All right, Ish is now at the point where he's closing in on 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 X next to the the standings and stuff like that. Clinching clinching the victory. horrible. What the heck? Not having a good time. <laughs> I feel like these have been very fair and balanced. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty fair. fair and balanced. You hush. Okay. <laughs> Number 10. Who led the NBA in scoring this year? I can tell you who led the NBA in blocks, but not scoring. <laughs> yeah, I almost did that one because Jaron Jackson. It was Jaron yeah, Jackson. I was about to say. Uh, Jaron Jackson scoring? did not lead the NBA in scoring. Was no. it? Uh, Ishmael. Yes. Was it Trey Young? No. No, it wasn't. This is points per game, I should say. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. What, Mallory? Was it Luca? No. Lamello? Pickles. Yes. De- Devin Booker. No. No, it was, was it LeBron? No. No. Okay. Who was it? Joel Embiid. Oh. Really? Oh. Joel Embiid led the league in scoring. Mm. It's like 30.6 or something like that, okay. 30.4. He led the league in scoring. So yeah. there you go. Hmm. So, okay, stays the same. Yep. Pickle, you can still, if you sweep these final two, oh, you can God. catch it. Uh, Mal, pressure. you have. Uh, I'm just here for fun. You're here for fun. <laughs> We're here having for a good time. <laughs> You're having a good time. I just I hope get, everyone has a exactly good time. Exactly right. You're having a good time. <laughs> Question number 11. It's Ishmael 4, Pickle 2, Mallory 1. The current Pope, Pope Francis, mm-hmm. is the first to hail from what country? Ishmael. Yes. Argentina. Argentina. That is correct. I, yeah, that was all you. Yeah, straight Pope. That he's, was he's clinched the victory. Like, oh, goodness. He clinched the victory. Catholics yes. on top. He was, yeah, Catholics back on top. Oh, oh no. God. <laughs> but, that was, so he just is, when you think he it is, can't get he's the first. He's the first Pope from Argentina. He's the first Pope from South America. From right? the Southern Hemisphere. Southern Hemisphere. Okay. Whole gotcha. Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. Okay. And, he's like, and he was like the first non European Pope in like. 800 years or right. something like that. Yeah, it was something crazy. Like that. Yeah. Jeez. They're always they're always European. So now we're just playing for fun. We're playing out the string. It's Ishmael 5, Mallory 1. We don't have to keep reminding two. people of the score, really. Yeah. No, we, we're, we're I think people know what the I think we're good just at this point. point. Did just you guys hear the score, guys? No, I, th- I think, really think I we're good. All right. Negative 5, actually. Number 12, the 12th and final question here on the inaugural Texas Football Today Trivia Challenge. Number 12. <laughs> Who led Texas FBS players in rushing yards in 2021? Total rushing yards. Who Pickle. led? Uh, Ma- Pickle. Sincere McCormick? No. She was injured a little bit, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. We're, so we're going... Oh, I'm sorry, Mallory, did you... It, well, uh, yeah, I had shoot. a question. Are yes. we doing, like, just athlete, or are we doing team? It is, no, what player? What, oh, what player, what, what, okay, who okay. Who led okay. Texas FBS I got players the question. Okay. in rushing in 2021? Did you say your name or no? I. You I, can if you'd like. Uh... I'm wiping the buzzer, so whoever has the answer. Okay. 
Was it Abram Smith? It was Abram Smith from mm. Baylor. He ran for sixteen hundred and one. I was like, I could not remember if him or Tristan Hibner led right. the team. Yes, so. it was okay. uh, it was Abram Smith uh, from Baylor. Not surprising. We have a winner, folks. Do we? In third place, <laughs> with one point, <laughs> <laughs> is my Mal Palace here. Let's go! Let's it's go! Mallory this Hartley. doesn't bode well for the Mavericks. I'm okay. sorry. Yeah, it was the jersey. <laughs> In second place, Trash. with two, <laughs> is Ashley Pickle. Well done, Ashley. Thank you. Good Thank job. You. I know my presidents at least. But your winner. <laughs> well, he knows his pope, so I don't know. <laughs> 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 With six points is Ishmael Boo. Johnson. Thank you. Fantastic. Boo. So Thank here's you. the problem, though. Because yeah. now, because we're going to try to do this like once every three months or so. Okay. That means you have to come back and defend your crown. Okay. Now, we might cycle some other people through. Sure. Right? Sure. If Powers is here, That's Powers fine. can hop on. Yeah. Right? Step. A Craven. Step. Craven could, yeah. Will. Emma. 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 I mean, we could get the whole staff in here. Rudy. And so, but yeah. you, you have a spot there. Now, I will say someone has to run the computer. So one of you two. One of us has a spot. <laughs> like, hi, you can't get rid of us. I mean, not necessarily. You could just sit there and not participate if you don't want. Right. But you could have, I guess. Well, if you why wanted. would I do that? I don't yeah. know. It's fine. I'll come inform next That's time. <laughs> um, so there you go. Ishmael. And you ain't running it back. <laughs> Ishmael, congratulations. We're not You're calling heat champion check. champion of the inaugural. <sighs> Texas football today. God, we're not going to hear the challenge. end of this. I thought I thought that the questions were pretty balanced. Pretty good. Yep. Pretty fair. I thought they were challenging. I think because look, it's there were I guess there were three that we didn't get answers to. Like nobody got the pool ball question. Right. I gotta need more high school. Nobody questions Nobody got the. Nobody got like the three consumes three college most alcohol. questions to the two that do the college football podcast. Yeah, but one of them was was your school. So like, <laughs> there's yeah, no, them, yeah, there's no, no, there's no one asked you. Using that <laughs> I, was gonna, one. I was gonna say, I'll just there's say, no, I no one asked you. Had an office one, y'all had a UNT one. I had none catered to me, so yeah, I guess you're, that's a great point. That is a good point. I didn't have any Suns questions. Yeah. I didn't have any Titans questions. Well, that's why I guessed Devin Texas Booker State. because I was like, okay, yeah. he gave us a North Texas one. He's got to be like, this has got the answer has to be a Suns. Yeah, no. and it wasn't. Mm-hmm. No, I'm so, tricky like that. Yeah, I get. <laughs> I'm unpredictable like that. I really am. I really am. All right. Are okay. you? All right. Okay. Uh, guys, this was fun. Yeah. Ishmael, congratulations. Thank you. Well Mallory, done. thanks for producing. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Glad I could give my office insight <laughs> to you. Shout out CC. <laughs> Shout out CC. Pickle, <laughs> thanks for doing this. Uh, when's your next softball broadcast? Next Wednesday. Okay. It's uh, it's, it's big the one. big one. Yeah. Um, OU, the number one ranked team in the country, oh, is, we got is coming to Denton. Hope's so. coming back. Hope it's coming back. That's the big story. Yeah. Our like the one of their main pitchers was a North Texas pitcher for her whole undergrad. She's on her grad transfer year. She's mm-hmm. the one that pitched the so. perfect game last year. Mm-hmm. Oh. She sure did. But didn't you say? And then th- she went on a Bally's broadcast, and I think she got proposed to. Yes. Like I think her boyfriend did it because she was on the Rangers mm. broadcast. Oh, that's awful. Which, <laughs> yes, love you, Hope. <laughs> Just not a fan of stadium proposals. Nope. I I think that those should not be a thing. What about the televised proposal? Also shouldn't be a thing. Yeah. Like the live TV proposal. So that's the worst of both worlds. Yeah. yeah realistically well, speaking. Who is the yeah. Boise State running back? Oh, Ian Johnson. Ian Johnson. I guess. Scored. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, if we're going to go he in propo- like order he of rankings. After they, after they beat Oklahoma. After he got, yeah, he, game, he got the game winning touchdown and then like five minutes later. like It's like a cheerleader, cheerleader right? A cheerleader. Yeah, he was oh. Were they dating? <laughs> no, he just ran. <laughs> it was some random. Like, hey, that one looks good. That one's at cute. That moment, I like her. He just scored the game-winning touchdown, the Fiesta Bowl. He's to like, Boise, Boise Boise he could probably propose to anybody. Like, yep, all right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Got to do it. No, I, would say, yes. I would say TV proposal is better than just stadium proposal, but neither of okay, them but are ideal. Is your, yeah. but is it's your, supposed to be intimate, I, have, I think. I have emceed a proposal before. I was going to say, is your In a Whataburger dance for your dinner on the North Texas football Oh, no, no. Love you, Whataburger. Sponsored. Love you, Whataburger. Thank you for being uh, a Dave Campbell's Texas football partner, but a sponsored sp- uh, one? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Nope. Unless it's sponsored by, I'm, like, Zales wait, or no, something. No, time out. Time yeah, out. Yeah, free ring. Will free ring. I mean, the there you huh? go. Will they cater the wedding? Ooh. Ooh, now that would be good. Cool. If, they, if, if you can wedding. swing it to yes. catering, yes. Then you could. That'd be good. I agree. That's a so play. S- swing it to catering, or again, yes. If it is a if it is a diamond shop that is propo- like mm. that, that is doing I it, I prefer like, that. Hey, you get to here's here's your ring. Like pick out your ring, and then we're gonna sponsor this. Like right. I mean, heck, at that point, that's like yeah. But that's what if like they're the, giving you the cheapo ring? Right, and that's what I'm saying. That's well, then a, that's up to your discretion that's, to say, that's yes, still a that's a ring. good enough ring or no, it's not. Like, if it's mm-hmm. not a good enough ring, then don't do it. But, I mean, mm-hmm. if they are they walk out here with a rock. Mm-hmm. Here's what you do. You sell that ring, and then you put the money that you get for that ring towards an yeah, even she's better ring. 40 chess. So I did, the, you, I did, yeah, the, no. I did the, the traditional thing of three-year salary for 
my wife. Three, yeah, three years. There you go. That's a good reference. <laughs> good there you go. Reference. If we're gonna, if we're gonna, <laughs> well, go. they say you have to go with three, three years. years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so funny. No. No, that like, that ring would be Jim's bigger like, than what? Jen at that point. I was gonna point. say I was. I, I believe <laughs> I was still working for the Dallas Morning News when I bought the <laughs> bought it. And, uh, so you, love you, Dallas Morning News. I was. I have three dollars. Junior, junior, junior employee. So I was like three dollars. I have three dollars. So I went to the crane machine and I had three goes at it. How about a ring pop? Exactly right. Uh, okay, guys, thanks for doing this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ish, we'll see you in a couple months to defend your crown. Although Boo. we, we, well, we need some sort of, we need a dumb war. Maybe a, an actual crown. Uh, no, work on yeah, I, was gonna say. I got a big head. Um, <laughs> she does. I do have a crown though. Okay, we can what about like a belt? necklace? Ooh, a chain. Chain. Oh, a chain. Ooh. There we go. Trivia now chain. Ooh, like a trivia big, yeah, chain. Big, trivia. Like a turnover chain, but yes. make it ours. Yeah. Trivia chain. Yeah. That might be what we need to do. We should just one. be a chain of Dave's face. All right. So <laughs> today's April fifteenth. I like that. Let's tentatively schedule it for like July fifteenth around okay. then. Okay. Sounds good. And we'll do that. It'll be. It'll be. You know what? July fifteenth. That's right before coaching school. Is the Friday before coaching school. Done. July 15th. I'm writing it down on our calendar. The next Texas Football Today trivia challenge. So that way Sounds when I win, I can brag the entire week. You can wear it. You can wear it. I was yes. going to say that. Yes. Oh, that works too well. Yes. I love when we produce stuff on the show. <laughs> that's gonna, Ideas. That's going to do Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.